Two American soldiers are dead after riots erupt in Afghanistan Thursday, and it comes after U.S. troops burned Muslim holy books, including the Quran. Connor Powell reports from Kabul. Thousands of demonstrators took to the streets for the third day in a row, protesting what the U.S. military says was the mistaken burning of Qurans by American troops. Angry Afghans even tried to storm a U.S. military base. During the attack, two American soldiers were killed, others wounded, when an Afghan soldier opened fire on U.S. forces. The Afghan soldier reportedly was outraged over the Quran burning incident, which occurred after Afghan prisoners had written in the holy books and used them to pass messages that the U.S. military says could have incited violence. In an effort to calm tensions, President Obama sent a letter to Afghan President Hamid Karzai. A statement by the White House said, in the letter delivered by Ambassador Crocker this afternoon in Kabul, the president also expressed our regret and apologies over the incident in which religious material was unintentionally mishandled at Bagram Air Base. But the Taliban are trying to use this crisis to rally Afghans to turn to their cause, calling on Afghan security forces to, quote, turn their guns on the foreign infidel invaders. We have seen uh, demonstrations throughout the country, and there's no indication that these are uh, anything other than popular uh, uh, expressions of, uh, of uh, outrage uh, over uh, this incident. Despite apologies from top U.S. officials, the crisis continues to deepen. Today, President Karzai demanded that NATO put the U.S. soldiers responsible for burning the Qurans on trial. And protests are expected to intensify tomorrow when Afghans meet for their Friday prayers. In Kabul, Connor Powell, Fox News.